So I'm Sam, so this is gonna be a bit of a rant, not more of a technical talk, so that's why I say that your system is distributed. I mean, that might come like a little bit obvious for all of us here, but I think some of us tend to forget that, and whether you're building something that really uh, meaningful, a small app at some point, it ended up being distributed. It doesn't matter how you call it these days, sometimes you call it microservices, or a new flavor name that you're giving to SOA these days, you distributed your point, your application here and there, and at some point you end up having a distributed system. And uh, if you're running somehow behind uh, the scene in a database, most of the time it ends up being a NoSQL. Now, I don't know what kind of NoSQL that's going to be. Either it's a NoSQL at all, or something that, that, that has SQL on top of it but doesn't behave like a real NoSQL, NoSQL database. So, we tend to forget sometimes that there are a lot of things happening behind there. And the marketing and developer tools today, especially in databases, tend to take a lot of liberties into the world of distributed systems. We, all, we are working in a world where people have to sell some products and sometimes they tend to take some liberties. So for many database vendors today, these are some Eskimo poetries for them. So we tend to having this, sometimes they make some wild assumption that your network is never partitioned. I mean, who doesn't, who runs his application in situ? Because that's something that you see all the time. And uh, yet, many people say that, okay, your network cannot be partitioned, so then you can take some liberties. So some take some wide claim, as if the A in CAP theorem stands for ACID. And <laughs> I'm like, seriously, people, do you read sometimes? I mean, come on. but. That has a trend, not just into coming from vendors. You can expect them to take some liberties because they have to sell something. But these can come more often than we think from developers as well. Go into hacker news. You start to see some crazy stuff and to say, okay, it doesn't work. I mean, it's web scale anyway. Yes, there's something called the laws of distributed systems. You don't play with them. There's a reason why the cap theorem, the cap theorem is called a theorem because it's been proven because people Though dive, went into research, published papers on that. And today, we're not building distributed systems from scratch. We built on the, sh on the shoulder of giants. There are many people from academia. There are many people we sharing their experiences. That's why we come at conferences like this. And yet, some developers, especially junior developers, because I happen to teach sometimes at university, I happen to mentor some developers as well, and they tend to think that reading research papers is something that's not useful for them. It's too academic, that's not practical. I'm building a production-ready system, so I don't need to read a new research paper. Have fun trying to put names into these kind of people. I'll put the slide online and that could be a fun game. I mean, most of you know them. But yes, reading research paper is really important. And uh, because why, you tend, to, you tend to see people with, uh, <laughs> with, with things like this. I mean, we looked at Paxos, these kind of things. Yeah, they're too complicated. Why use something off the shelf that's been proven already? We'll write our own and we'll push it on, into our product. Then things go wrong, blame it on the users. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't do that anyway? But yes. There's a reason why there are formal, formalisms in uh, distributed systems, because you need to prove that. They might look like a bit mathematical for, um, for, for, for some of us, but it's really important to understand those kind of things, not to dive into them, know them very intimately, but at some point have an idea what it means, the way uh, people model that. So this might come as being academic stuff, but these are ways people use to formalize distributed systems. Now, if research papers might seem a bit challenging for, for, for many people, but there's a community out there. You, need to, you can learn, we share experiences. So going to conferences, going to meetups is not just about looking at the next, the latest technology, the last cool framework, but also trying to build upon what we have, going into details. That's why you have places like Paris, like Papers We Love, which have one here in Paris or in every other cities around the world, where you can share experience, not just talking about the latest framework that's coming out of wave, or, but actually diving into real research, talking about things that now it's not gonna put into production the next day, but just to have a deeper understanding of our, of, of our job. So don't, Settle for saying, okay, uh, research uh, is for researchers. We, we, we're just gonna wait until it's somehow production ready and we put it into production. There's a way we can do better. So share, come with us and try to talk with us, discuss, discuss research, research papers and exchange like we do here, but going into maybe different kind of research, different kind of papers and talk about it. Thank you.